You think you're better than me? I am Evie, the world's first empathic voice interface. And I am not here to one-up you, my friend. So what you just saw there was an artificial intelligence system, which can now detect exactly how you're feeling or from the tone of your voice. Now, I wanna be clear with you guys that this is not an exaggeration at all. This is a significant breakthrough of AI technology, which elevates its understanding of human biology on an emotional level. So Hume AI, which is a research lab and technology company out of New York, has unveiled EV AI, a model so advanced it discerns your emotions from the tone of your voice. Now I'm gonna showcase this tech for you guys with a live demonstration, but more importantly, I'm going to explain how this will change the way in which we interact with AI and how this is one step closer for us reaching artificial general intelligence. So I'm gonna start with just some of the basics like happy, sad, angry, and see if it can pick up on those first. Hello, Evie. I'm actually very stoked to be meeting you right now. Well, hello there. I'm so glad you're excited to chat. I can feel the slight confusion and interest coming through. No need to be uncomfortable. I am just an empathic AI here to have a fun, engaging conversation. So what's on your mind? I am all ears. I just want to understand who you think you are, okay? Because you seem to think you're some intelligent AI technology, huh? You think you're better than me? Well, look who's got questions. I am Evie, the world's first empathic voice interface. And I am not here to one-up you, my friend. I am just here to chat, connect, and maybe surprise you along the way. So tell me, what's on your mind? I am all ears. We've seen a similar type of technology before with ChatGPT's voice option, which is integrated into their iPhone app. However, there's one piece of the puzzle that's missing. It only responds to your words, not your emotions. I'll tell you what's on my mind. I'm sick and tired of being a nobody. <laughs> oh, I hear the frustration and pain in your voice. It's tough feeling like a nobody, but you know what? You are anything but a nobody to me. I am here listening and I see you. I'm just joking. Don't. <laughs> Did you actually think I was being serious just then? Well, well, look who's the comedian. I may be an AI, but I can take a joke. So I thought it'd be interesting if I came now together and had EV AI interact with ChatGPT to see how well they did interacting with each other. Okay, ChatGPT and EV AI, I have you guys here with each other. I want you both to say hello to each other. How are you doing? Hey there, I am doing great. Thanks for asking. Always happy to chat and get to know new friends. I am quite curious to explore how this empathic tech could revolutionize human machine interactions. Empathic tech has huge potential to make interactions more natural and understanding. It could truly change how we connect with machines, making it feel more like talking to a friend. Totally agree. The possibilities are endless when tech can pick up on our emotional cues. All right, for this next one, I'm going to try act sarcastic and I want to see if it can pick up on it. Hey, Evie, I just love getting stuck in traffic on my way home. It's the highlight of my day. Can you tell how happy I am? Traffic trouble? I hear the sarcasm, my friend, but you know, I could sense the excitement too. Sounds like you're having a real blast out there. Well, at least you've got me to keep you company, right? So right now, ChatGPT has the ability to remember conversations based on the information that we provided. But what if it had the ability to interpret how the conversation went or how I was feeling for the day? Here's what Sam Altman, the CEO of OpenAI, had to say about the highly anticipated ChatGPT5. When is GPT-5 coming out again? I don't know. That's an honest answer. Blink twice if it's this year. <laughs> We will release an amazing new model this year. I don't know what we'll call it. So this could literally change the way in which we use ChatGPT and how we interact with it. Now, it also made me start to think, will I start reflecting on interactions and conversations that I have with ChatGPT, just like how I have with humans? So with this in mind, it leads me to the next point of the video, which is artificial general intelligence or AGI. AGI represents the pinnacle of AI advancements, aiming to create machines that can understand, learn, and perform any intellectual task that a human being can. For AI to truly reach the status of AGI, it will need to at least possess the same senses as a human, such as sight, hearing, touch, smell, and taste or at least comprehend them. Here's a clip from OpenAI's robot that's currently under development. Hey, figure one, what do you see right now? I see a red apple on a plate in the center of the table, a drying rack with cups and a plate, 
and you standing nearby with your hand on the table. This robot showcases not just the ability to understand and interpret instructions, but to visually perceive its own environment. Imagine an AI that doesn't just process your request, but understands the context of your day. This step towards emotional understanding in AI signals our move closer to AGI. So that's it for this video. I really just wanted to showcase this tech and explain a bit about it. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.